Choice Rick YouTube, welcome to the Coffee Pot. My name is Chishi Zed. Drink the coffee, it'll make you feel better. Breaking news. The first alleged female victim has decided to step forward and speak out about her experience with dealing with Andrew Tate. Now, this is via a video that's been produced by Vice. Now, there are a few things you should know about this video before you watch it, if you haven't already. If you have, but well, we're going to talk about it right now. Number one, I cannot share it here on the Coffee Pod. Why? Because Vice has gone to great lengths to make sure anybody who tries to react to the video have commentary to go along while the um, alleged victim is speaking gets copyrighted and also their video gets like blocked and taken down. It's not just me, this is everybody who's decided to react to this video. And some people like DJ Academics who've decided to react to this video in real time. His stream was shut down twice. But what's in this video? Well, it's a story that's actually not a new story to some people who remember this woman. In this video, a woman who seems like she's Andrew's ex, one of Andrew's ex-girlfriends is accusing him of getting physical with her, intimidating her, watching him intimidate other women, get physical with other women, etc. Right? As you expect, she cries on camera, but they don't show her face. Why? Because they're protecting her from the evil supporters of the misogynist Andrew Tate. Which leads me to my next point. One of the main things I notice about this specific video is it's actually a promotion. Right? What I found out is it's actually a promotion for a larger documentary that's coming out. Go figure. A hit piece. Now, right from the start, Andrew Tate is introduced as a highly misogynistic social media influencer. Here's the problem with that. If you're going to start out a documentary that's seeking truth, and in the very beginning, you're going to state such a biased approach to the actual investigation then you've already given us your conclusion in the beginning of the video. We already know what this whole thing is about. So the good thing with this is people who believe things just because they heard them on a popular channel or the news, they're going to believe what they hear. But the bad news is you're not going to trick men. So you're not going to convince thinking people that, oh, he's misogynistic. So anything going forward past this has to be the truth because of this label that we have put on him. Here's what I honestly believe. I honestly believe that a lot of my viewers, especially subscribers on this channel, I'm going to assume, and I may be wrong, but I'm going to assume that most of them probably share the same view that I um, share, is you're not going to convince me a man is misogynist because he embraces his masculinity and wants a woman who's going to submit to him. You're not going to convince me that. That's not going to be the selling point of why I believe everything going forward. I'll need some proof. And when that proof comes, hey, I'll get back on this platform and also say, all right, well, we've seen the proof. It is what it is, and he should be held accountable for his decisions. I think that's what most logical people are waiting for. What's happening? Hit pieces. Hit piece after hit piece. And the most fascinating thing about this whole thing isn't that Vice decided to do a hit piece of Andrew Tate that's like highly biased. No, that's not it. It's the fact that Andrew Tate also predicted that Vice would do this. How might you ask? Well, the man who's facilitating the conversation in the interview with the woman, he's the only person on camera whose face is being shown. This man goes by the name of Matt Shea. And you won't believe the backstory between this guy, his relationship with the Tate brothers. And so believe it or not, most people called bullshit as soon as this video was published and they were halfway through. In fact, it was so bad that Vice actually took down the video re-uploaded it and shut off the comments drink the coffee it'll make you feel better they couldn't handle the coffee in the comment section they like tea no um i'll have a tea actually many people noticed this like this commenter who said urgent guys that vice video was actually put up a few hours prior on vice channel but they took it down because the comments was flooded with calling her bs and saying this is one of the few girls we already heard of <laughs> The comment goes on to say, so they took it down within like half an hour. Then we uploaded it a few hours later with comments disabled. Well played, Vice. Well played. These are the tactics 
right? Copywriting, blocking uh, people from commenting on the actual video in real time. These are the tactics that they're resorting to right now. But the problem with this is like until there is concrete proof, there's just a majority of people who are not going to believe anything that comes from the media with an agenda. But it makes sense. Of course, they're coming out with the hit piece. Why? Because they know it's going to earn views, earn subscribers, and make them more money. But back to what I really want to focus on in this video, which is this gentleman, Matt Shea. Matt Shea is an interesting individual. A lot of people feel very strongly about this individual, Matt Shea. I am just now learning who this guy actually is. But as soon as I saw his face, I actually remembered that he did appear on Andrew and Tristan Tate's podcast. How might you ask? Well, he wanted an interview for his documentary. And so what did he do? He lied to them and told them that he was some folk musician. Tristan doubted. Andrew believed. They brought him on the platform and he exposed himself to be a liar. In fact, I'm going to play that actual video here in just a few seconds. Before I do that, I'm just going to read this comment and then we're going to get into that video so you guys can see who this guy is, how he lied to get this opportunity to talk to um, Tristan and Andrew Tate, the men who he's uh, labeled as a criminal organization. This comment reads, Matt Shea is the definition of a sneaky weasel. While trying to get his interview with the Tates, he sat there like a little timid child calling Andrew sweet, in quotation marks. Then the moment the Tates are locked up and he knows he isn't face to face with them or can use them anymore, then he goes against them. True definition of a true coward. Without any further ado, guys, we're going to get right into that video so you guys can see it for yourself. Keep in mind that in the beginning, um, Tristan, Andrew Tate's brother, was very skeptical of the guy as he came on the podcast and voiced his opinions about not trusting him. But everything unfolded and the truth was later revealed. Let's get it. Andrew's invited his mate on our show uh, without my consent. He's, this guy's in our house without my consent. So He's I, a well-known folk singer. He's, he's amazing. Matt Shea. I, 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 to, it, I'm just going to have to bite my tongue and listen to you guys talk most of this emergency meeting. Otherwise, otherwise I'm going to walk off. Matt, so, Matt, can you introduce yourself? Tell them about your singing career. Tell them where you're from, etc. Yeah, so I'm, I'm actually not a folk singer at all. In what? The slightest. No, sorry. What? I'm, Are you calling my brother a liar? You lied to case, me. Yes. To he's, been on this, my- he's been on this podcast for one minute. He's already calling you a liar. You lied to me to get into my house. You said you're a folk singer and you're going to sing to the world. No, the truth is I'm actually here to make a documentary about both of you um, for Vice. And I'm just here to observe and listen and, and learn the, the Tate way. I no thought chance. You were, I thought you were a singer, my friend. Now I'm extremely disappointed. I thought you were useless as an individual, but you could sing. But now that that's gone, what do you have left? Do something. Do Show a talent. Show the people. Do something. Prove you're not useless. Go. I, I make documentaries. Sorry. I, you'll see when the film comes out. <sighs> lame do a poll tristan is anybody impressed by matt shea okay poll. Let's, let's find out if anybody's impressed by matt shea is matt impressive the answer is no you're out why do you want to do why do you want to do a video on us tell us what's so interesting about top g most compendious richest trillionaire kickboxing world champion sexy tall smart rich i mean why am i so interesting please humor me I, I want to do a documentary about the phenomenon that is you and your brother, because so many people, especially men, seem to really like what you're saying and follow you. And you know, I just want to find out you know, what's behind your philosophy and what makes you tick. And Do you like what I say? Um, you know that I don't agree with a lot of the things that you say, <laughs> but, uh, but I think you're a sweet guy on the inside. What would you do if a yoga fired you? If you what? Yoga fire. How he, would you deal with that? He could shoot fire from his hands. How would you deal with that? If you actually sprayed fire out of your hands. Yoga fire. Well, how would you handle that? You're making a documentary. You're chatting shit, saying I'm things I'm not, and I yoga fire you. What next? That would be terrible. I, I would scream. My skin would probably bubble, and I'd run away and stop, drop, and roll. And Sounds about survive. right. So keep that in mind when you're making this little show. Oh, I'm already terrified. I've seen the knives and the giant fire thing. It's called a liar. Yeah, yeah, when you smoke giant cigars, you need a big liar. Where's your cigar? Um, yeah, you gave me this actually. I, Has I it mean, gone out? It has. Yeah, I have to. Admit. Do you think cigars are free? Amateur hour. That's like fifty dollars. You know. Listen, that. Brokey, smoke it up. You never yeah. smoked anything that expensive in your life. Okay. Well, yeah. Okay. 
Jeez, you're gonna make a video on me. At least you can smoke a cigar, have some respect. You didn't even sing on my podcast. It's all been a famoose, a fagazi from the beginning. <laughs> what do you guys like about these anyway? They make you strong. They're, really? They make you stronger. Of the three people you could see on screen, who would be the third strongest? Of, of us three? Yes. In terms of what, physical strength or strength of the heart? Well, I'd say everything, but let's go physical. Okay, physical, I think... Uh, You'd be the weakest. I'd be the weakest. Who smokes the fewest cigars? Me, yeah. Do you see a correlation? Um, I see correlation without causation, yeah. Yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah. you can come back with the causation part, but you do see a correlation, correct? Yeah. I want you to Wonderful. know that I've actually been... If you want to talk about correlation and causation, I want you to know that I've actually been protecting you your entire life. Me, me specifically? You specifically. Have you ever been attacked by a tiger? uh no actually no. that's because for your entire life i have been protecting you from tigers you may not know this but i spoke to the tiger king mm. i spoke to the tiger lords i spoke to each tiger individually as well as making sure you were shadowed at all times spoke to joe exotic exactly shadowed at all time by my war room elite tiger killing squads to make sure you were never ever attacked by a tiger the only reason you're not ripped to shreds is because of me you owe me a massive thank you thank if you, you piss me off if you piss me off i really appreciate that. i will take that away unleash the tigers unleash the tigers you'll be walking through central london and you'll be torn to shreds so you came on this show promising to sing to everybody i've been protecting you your entire life i think you owe me at least a little jingle do something by the way 68 percent of the polls said you're unimpressive this is your chance to reverse the poll Ask, can you ask what the 30 you present find impressive about me? I'm curious to know. That is that is actually a good question. That's a good question, right? Yeah. Well as asked the chat, what is impressive about Matt Shea, the folk singer who won't sing? What's impressive? Sing for us. You said, come on, I've been protecting you for tigers your whole life. Have you been bitten by a shark? Uh, no. There you go. I've been that, doing double. That's, that's down to me, actually. I'm doing the sharks. He's doing the tigers. Thank We're keeping guys. them all at bay. Thank you. Sing a song. Nothing, nothing. This guy's poor. This guy's a geek. Nothing. He's an NPC. Nothing. He's short. That's the. I'm actually not that sure. I, how tall? How tall are you? I'm five foot eleven and three quarters of an inch. Sorry, you said five, and you, once you said five, yeah, it was over. Short. Sure. Can you sing a song like you promised? Nice. I didn't promise that. You do have an impressive haircut. Somebody said that. Hey. One person. Thank you. Of the eight thousand one hundred people watching us. Let me ask you. you a question. Have you ever seen the clown that hides from gay people? I. <laughs> Have you seen no, him? No, I haven't seen you him. Haven't. That has the so you've never seen him? No. Cool. And Don't you've been him. all around the world, right? Mm -hmm. And you've never seen the clown that hides from gay people? I still haven't seen him, no. Strange. Is he here somewhere? Strange. Well, yeah, he's right here. I see him. I see him. You don't see him. Strange. <laughs> funny that. Yeah, cool. Funny. So we understand. You've never seen the clown. He won't sing. Yep. Uh, what else could you add to this podcast? I don't you've know. not seen the clown. He won't sing. He won't smoke a cigar. Someone just called him Malcolm in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's not fair. I literally am in the middle. Yeah, yeah, that is a bit unfair. All right, let's be nice to our vice friend. Let's be nice. He's your friend. He is my friend, and he's going to do a, a hit piece on me. So let me be nice to him before he does a hit piece. He is, this is definitely a hit piece. I've warned my brother that this is a setup, and this is what everyone I in the chat is I don't care. I want everyone in the world to know when you plan on making a hit piece for me, you can sit there editing away, jerking your going, oh, I'm going to make a hit piece, and he's going to really, really set. I don't care. Do hit pieces. Say bad things about me. I'm uninterested. I've clearly conquered the internet. I'm clearly unstoppable. I'm like the board. You've invited the liberal news media to come. They can all life. come. I'm like the board. The more you shoot me with your phasers, the more I adapt. Harder to kill. Just don't look in that room, because our kidnapped victims are in that room. Correct. Here, Vice, let me show you a video of my Bugatti, which costs $5.2 million. Big Andrew Tate and Tristan Tate, real bad man in the blood club. Super expensive. Bugatti Chiron Pure Sport, one of only 50 in the world, one of my 27 supercars. They're going to say it's in Germany getting its tire changed, and they're going to say that we don't own one. That's what they're going to do. You know, I wasn't going to say that, but you saying that does beg the question. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tristan, why are you giving the liberal media ideas? Yeah. Exactly. The I fact mean, that our name's stitched into the seats is clearly a scam. Right. We've got some super chats. We've got some questions here. Let's see if we've got any questions for you. $500 super chat. Shout out to the Tate brothers. You've conquered the internet. Respect, brother. Thank you very much. That's smooth, smooth Black Alex. That's from my boy, Smooth Black Alex. He said it's, 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 it's his entry fee for Romania. He's, he's driving through Romania. He's going to come see us next week. So smooth, smooth Black Alex, you're welcome anytime. Can't wait to see you, bro. See if we have any questions for wait, our, so our th friend here. This guy just paid $500 no, to you guys. Well, no, he paid $500 to the Save Joe Exotic Fund because that's where all the money goes. All the money goes to saving Joe Exotic because we're going to save him. Have you watched Tiger King? Uh, yeah, I have. Okay. Have I been protecting you from tigers? Yes or no? Yeah, apparently. Okay. We when he all said know. he spoke to the king of tigers, who do you think he was referring to? Have you not I, seen the video on my YouTube where I call him in jail and say that Carol Baskin him up and I'm going to get him out? 
No. You don't even watch my YouTube channel. We're raising bro. money. All the super chats here. Do, do I look like I need money? Um, Maybe no. if you keep burning my cigars and not smoking them properly, I'm going to go bankrupt. You but until me. then, I don't need money. So well, the money goes to help our boy Joe Exotic. You need you need yeah. to watch my Tate speech and learn about our missions in life. You, you watch Tiger King, right? You do believe that Joe Exotic should be free, don't you? I don't really remember the plot of Tiger King. He was trying to run a tiger business. Everyone started telling stories about him and lying to the police about him and shit. Horrible. Poor guy. This is what happens when you save a guy from tigers his whole life. He has no respect for the tiger king. Doesn't, does he? Won't even sing a song. He doesn't. Wait, wait. Are Vice going to call us mad, weird names like racist and homophobic? Because Joe Exotic is a homosexual and all of our money goes to help him out. So That's true. I just want to put that out there before you guys start labeling us with stupid labels. I also want to put out there, if you guys decide to do a hit piece, that you are a cisgendered white male. And I am an ethnic minority. I am half mm. African-American, as you can tell. And as a person of color, I find it extremely offensive. You're going to do a hit piece on me. And that will be my reply, because I think that's why you're doing it. A bunch of white men have turned up to my house. They're filming me as a person of color, and they intend on trying to paint me in a negative light. If I was white like all of you, you wouldn't do that. So keep that in mind. The leader of the war room, the highest ranking member of the war room outside myself and my brother, is a Jew as well. So before you start saying stupid things, because I don't trust you 1%. I, I don't want you in my house. Sing like you promised. You said, but you're, sing a song. Andrew, it's a setup. This guy's the friendly face. They, guy's the friendly face. they send him here. Well, I have sing a song. And his editor don't and his voiceover guy time. are going to be like, well, you know. You promised to I've sing just, to me. I've just sat here. I've, I've just, I've said. If you think I won't kick Vice out of my house. I don't you care. How long did you creating a straw? Man. How long did you fly? How long did it take you to fly here? About three hours. Would so. you be upset if the documentary and all ended? I just kicked you out right now. What would you do? Yeah, I'd be very upset. Please don't do You're that. Fire. You're gonna have to leave, bro. You're gonna have to leave. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, don't make me call the security. I don't look. I'm gonna. I'm, I'll give you some chance. Well, are we I, done with this guy? I think a few more minutes. Or no, are we done with no, it? No, no. You can sing now, or you're off the pod. That's fair. I, I, I'm, I don't think I can sing. Why not? Just sing a little jingle. I can't sing when I'm nervous and there's sing the Mr. Producer in, song. I'm in between two Tate brothers and they're both incredibly hench and good. At oh, I see. Because because we're half black, we're violent. Is that what it is? Is it racism? Typical. Is that the card he's Cisgendered playing? white male. Trying to bring the, Trying to bring down the black. Man. We can see how they're coming at us. Mm. It's fine. No, it's no problem. You know, Hit I, piece. It's fine. No problem. I haven't said anything. Don't worry about it. Just because I'm wearing a gun, I'm violent. Is that how it is? Just because I got knives all over the table and I'm a kickboxing world champion, I'm violent. Well, it's actually, you know, that's something I might maybe, maybe respond to. If you are wearing a gun and you have knives, that does make you a little bit violent. It makes, no, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. It makes me security aware. Security conscious. If you have a knife and fork in your hand or a violent man. You have the knife and fork I used to cut my meal. I use, I use these things for, he used it to cut the cigar. Yeah. Did I not use the knife to cut your cigar? What would you do if a pigeon came in here? You'd ask me, pull the strap, kill the pigeon. That's what you do. No, I wouldn't. Pest control. Listen, I'm tired of I'm tired of being accused of things. Uh, this is absolutely unacceptable. You've accused my own yourself house. of things. Absolutely I unacceptable. Anything. Do we kick him off the pod? Well, it's gonna be a poll. It's gonna be, be a poll. poll. It's gonna be a poll. Do we keep him or do we kick him off? Keep Matt. Yes or no. It's gonna be interesting. In the meantime, let's uh talk about I'm I'm being dragged into this. I'm agreeing to the documentary because Andrew thinks it's a good idea. And as his brother, I trust his judgment. But man, do I dislike these people. I know it's not, it's not, it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. It's no problem. What they say on the poll? Uh, it's 51%. So you got a, a few more votes, guys. <laughs> it's keep, close. It's 51% to keeping you. Keep Matt. Yes, yeah, 51%. Guys, like the video if you're watching. Yeah, like, press the like button, share it with your friends. The message needs to go worldwide. So, Matt, why did you decide to make documentaries? Let's educate the people at home. Uh, talk, talk into the mic if you don't mind. Because I'm just really interested in the world. Sorry, I'm just interested in the world. I'm interested in the people in it. And you two are, at the very least, very interesting people. And I want to know what's behind that. Well, how old were you when you made your first one? What was your first documentary about? Um, my first documentary was about... Shit, I don't even remember. I've done so many... Any of you know what my first documentary was about? Oh, it was about competitive gaming. Yeah, it was about esports. That actually leads into something very interesting because I've been going on Twitch lately and mm -hmm. getting all the Twitch records because anywhere I go, everyone watches. Mm -hmm. And uh, Twitch is a cesspool. It's a cesspool it's disgusting. of degeneracy and sadness and just weakness. You have 15 year olds getting paid millions to play video games. Well, I don't understand is this. These people can command audiences of millions, 500,000 per stream while they're playing video games. And every single person watching them is, aspires to sit in a chair get fat, play video games. I told guys, you know, be, you know, uh, do some push-ups, and I'm horrible for some reason. Like, I have, I have haters come at me. 
for saying that, you know, do some push ups and be healthy. You're a misogynist, Tristan. But yeah, why do you guys think that you have haters? We have haters because we say things that are provocative. I'm not I'm not ignorant. I know what I say. I know why it upsets people. And it's fine. And also the way that the world works, I believe that our haters believe that we're wrong. And I completely understand that. And I get why they think that they are right and I am wrong. But the sheep thinks the wolf's wrong. Yeah, exactly. The sheep thinks the wolf's wrong. And a lot of it's like ostrich, right? So it's very easy for people to say that doesn't matter anymore. We live in a civilized society, but it's really just hiding your head in the sand. It's cool. it doesn't matter. What, what does it feel like when people react, when the haters react to something that you say or do? I think it's funny. Yeah, I feel nothing. It's, it's, it's genuinely hilarious. I, I, I do find it extremely funny that I can control people's emotions like that. I've not outsourced the ability to upset me to anybody else. If I want to be upset, it's my own conscious decision. If anybody can control your emotions, they can control you. If I can make you happy or sad, I can control and influence how you act and how you think and what you do. So to some degree, you're a slave. I'm absolutely apathetic to the, the opinions of other people because if they can make me happy or sad, even happy, people giving me praise really has no effect. And people being sad to me, people being mean to me really has no effect. I don't get sad or happy either way. It's all internal as I decide myself. Otherwise, you're controlled. I don't want to be controlled by anybody. Well, everybody seems to like your questions and they voted for you to stay, which brings me on to my answer to your exact question. It's like a poll because you're talking about people who come at you and hate you on the Internet, etc. So here's what will happen. I'll look at my Instagram inbox if I ever have time. And there'll be 10 to 15 beautiful women saying, oh, I'd love to come and hang out with you. Oh, I'd love to. I'd love you to come here. When are you next in Israel or L.A. or Ethiopia? Or when are you here? And beautiful women write me this. And then someone will send me some message of some overweight troll talking about how horrible I am. And I'm just like, it is, that's, it's democracy, isn't it? I don't care. Like, why would that bother me when all of the women that I think I'd like to associate with are, you know, are reaching out? But obviously, I'm a good Christian man. I never respond to those messages, but. Right, so you want to tell them that you're here for a war room test, aren't you, Mister Mister? Yeah, why are you here in my house? Uh, Justify yeah. it to me. Um, well, yeah, I've been I've been basically asked to invited to participate in the war room. I have no idea what's in store. Um, yeah, so the, I'm a willing participant. A willing participant. That's so right. It means that we can also make a film and and get to know you guys. Yeah, correct. So the war room has events five times a year, and you're coming to an event called The Test, which is a rite of passage for men. It's something that people can do and complete to say that they've done it and completed it. It's designed to be difficult, both mentally and physically. You knew you were coming to this, so I trust for the last few months you've been preparing rigorously, obviously. Uh, no, I actually haven't at all. What have, you, what have you been doing? Uh, Esports. Not very much, to be honest. T- tell us an average day in the life of Matt, the filmmaker um walk my dog uh do work walk my dog again go to sleep yeah that's not going to prepare you for the test how many push-ups do you do per day Uh, on days that i work out i'll sometimes do 40 or 50 push-ups well you do work out sometimes that's that's good sometimes what's the most mentally challenging thing that's happened to you in the past two years um the most mentally challenging things that have happened to me, I mean, I've, I've done some documentaries about some very difficult things. I did a documentary about death. I had to, it was about euthanasia. I had to get to know people and kind of yeah, watch them die. I get that, yeah. That was, uh, that was difficult to face death, you know, in that way. Yep. Emotionally difficult and, you know. It, Are you ready to face it again? Um, am I facing death? death we, face de- we face death every day. <laughs> That's how it works, my friend. Do Welcome we? to the mm-hmm. test. It's going to be very interesting. I really want to see yeah. how you do. All right, guys, you heard it for yourself. That is the guy who um, is interviewing the chick who stepped forward, the alleged victim, and who's faceless on camera, sharing her experience with Andrew Tate. As always, we're going to check out these comments. Let's see what some people have to say. First comment here says, this guy was shaking when sitting next to the Tates, then goes online and celebrates hating him. Clown. Next, we have another comment here from another gentleman that says, Tates invited that dork to film half a year ago. And just after they get arrested, Vice is miraculously ready to release the film with the half allegation interview with an anonymous chick. Clown. 1K likes. Next comment here says, watch the Vice video. The woman who's accusing him of those charges gave him crocodile tears. Most of the time when she cries, as she tells her story, she became suddenly ice cold. After showing her tears, the interviewer and her voice became calmer when she speaks. Those are not the tears of a victim. She is pulling out those tears from her past traumas and shows that she watched. This commenter goes on to conclude that he applauds the Matrix 
for the premeditated attack. It's well played. 700 plus likes. Next comment here says Tristan was right, but Andrew even predicted in this clip that this guy would make a hit piece. That's very true. Next comment here reads tough guy on Twitter yet trembling like a puppy in their presence. He used the guns slash knives as an excuse for being nervous. They could have been sitting in a police station and he would have still been psychologically dominated and intimidated by the Tate brothers. What a coward. Yeah. I mean, you can tell, man. You can tell. You can tell by the energy, right? That that man was exuding exactly that he's the type. You know, when people say that weak men are more dangerous than strong men, well, strong men kind of let their guard down because they're, they're like, you're not going to do anything. Look at you. But a weak man will go behind your back. A weak man will take his time. A weak man will do despicable things to compensate for whatever he lacks. Next comment here says, tough guy on Twitter yet trembling like a puppy in their presence. Final comment here says, was a coward in person and brave on the internet. People never fail to amaze me nowadays. With a laughing emoji. Listen guys, what do you guys think? Of course I'm going to have the video, the Vice video pinned to the top of the comment section so you guys can see for yourself. But what do you think of what you've heard so far? Leave your comments down below. As always, I appreciate you for checking out yet another episode of The Coffee Pot. Till next time, man. I'm out. Peace.